tribe, Tiana T. Yeah, that's me, and I'm back at it again with another reaction video. So today, we got Leslie Ines still up to the stand. So the T is basically she wrote a book, a book of lies about Queen, Clarence, Maud, aka Patty, all of them just putting out all the business. Now she's saying she didn't write it. She might have still wrote it. We're going to figure it out. Anyway, I didn't expect sis. I didn't expect sis to come back with some videos this quick. I thought she was gonna drag it out for like another week or two and make us wait and like build up anticipation. But because she took like less time to like make this video, I feel like she might be like innocent now. But we gonna see. Let's get into the video real quick. my previous video i truly appreciate it and i want to welcome all my new subscribers i why are you welcoming new subscribers aren't you just here to clear your name you just here to tell the story and then leave so i thought or are you here to create a youtube i told you some sound off but i will say sis got the same setup still look good still look snatched um Video don't look like it was pre-recorded, the other one. So let's see, let's see what's going on. I appreciate you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you guys for the comments that you left me. Thank you for the likes. Thank you guys for your support. I really appreciate it. Um, as you guys know, I said that I was gonna address some things. So in this video today, I'm going to talk about, well, really I'm gonna react to the part one of Queen of Lies. Um, I hope that this clears up a lot of things. This ain't what we asked answers. for, but I'm going to finish. And I also want to note that I am not here to bash anybody. I am not here to ruin relationships. That's not like me. I've never been that way, and I don't think anything in this world would change my character. Um, for those of you who have been following me for a long time on Instagram, you know that I've never moved that way, and it's not like to I'm sorry, but this is not what we asked for. We asked for a simple, did you write it or did you not? Since you was going to talk about how you met him, how your relationship was, how you were afterwards. That's what we want to hear. We want to hear stuff that's not true. We want to hear what is true. Damn, what the fuck? And um, basically, the book starts off with um, the young lady saying that she's from the Bronx, and um, she mentioned that she suffers from depression and has always had to go to therapy all her life, and, had, and she had a rough um, upbringing. Um, it starts off by her basically. Okay, so I am from the Bronx. I was born and raised here, and I never. I have not ever suffered from depression, um, and I've never visited a therapist. I never went to therapy. That is false. That is not true. And I didn't have a rough upbringing. I, know I was raised with a beautiful family, and I didn't have any suffering or anything like that, besides the little heartbreaks, but yeah. So, so far, what Clarence said was true. Shorty never struggled. She did have depression. So far, so good. Me and Clarence been together for five years. And you can only imagine. <laughs> that is not Clarence NYC. That is not Claire Bear. Who is this man? Cause that is not Clarence. <laughs> That ain't Claire Bear. Who, who, who is this man? <laughs> that barely even looked like her. What? Clarence definitely looked broke back then. Get money, make you grow a beard, and make you look better. Because that was like Claire. He ain't an ugly man, but that is not Clarence. Five years. What a relationship goes through. No relationship is perfect. Me and him went through a share of things. I have suffered. Um, I've forgiven him. 
and you got back together two times and um, you start acting differently around the person your mind is already like tormented with so many things so you're just scared of things now like you can't move like calm you can't be free you can't let him be free you know what i'm saying so you like you become like a little probably possessive i don't know you don't trust you have insecurities now so in short she was crazy she was insecure she warranted a lot of reactions so moving forward to her saying that i had an abortion um me Clarence never had a scare like i've never gotten pregnant and for reasons does that mean she wanted to get pregnant or she tried to get pregnant and it wasn't happening is that what she's trying to tell us i mean like honestly at this point if you're gonna air it out like spit it out verbatim like did you try to get pregnant and you weren't getting pregnant and that's why they made that story up? Is that what you're trying to say? As a matter of fact, let me just address this because I'm a little upset. I didn't watch Clarence's second reaction, but someone, a few people told me that he spoke about me having health issues and I couldn't have a baby. Something along those lines. I couldn't believe it was so carelessly said too. Like, I don't know. I feel like it was unnecessary to say um there's just certain things that you keep private you don't share my business to the world you don't tell people that I have health problems when I've been oh she sounds like she's about to cry like this getting a little a little serious even though she ain't really saying much right now but yeah um I don't want to say I've been depressed about it but the thought is haunting that it it's hard for me to have I'm not gonna say that I can't have it's hard for me to have so I've been quiet I haven't said anything but you're talking about my health problems and my issues with having a baby not called for it I didn't appreciate that at all oh I feel the hurt all up in her um in her words even her eyes, I feel like this is really serious. Like, she really can't have kids, and it probably really hurts her that he moved on, and he got Queen pregnant so quick, and she probably wanted a baby, and they were trying to have a baby. She couldn't have one. Like, oh, I'm feeling, I'm feeling a little bit different right now about the situation. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm feeling a little bit kind of sorry for her, but I'm not going to fall into her little Pisces, little victim web. We're going to see what else goes on. Not being zodiac racist or nothing. I'm just saying that's that's what they be doing. But, yeah, I don't want to get emotional about it because I already did behind closed doors. I don't. I try my best not to put my business out there. Uh, that's not true. Um, in the five years of me being with friends, um, I don't know anything about him sleeping with other women. Like. Thanks for clearing that up, sis, but we didn't believe it either. Because honestly, the way Claire is, how like he's big on hygiene, how he's big on image and big on looks, Claire is not going outside like that. We didn't believe that. It, didn't nobody believe that, honestly, truly. That that was definitely a reach in the book. What's running for running the operation, like, like a cartel. Like she was like, mm -hmm. keep it, bringing it, you know. That is not true. I can't even picture her having that kind of like boldness and like gutsiness about her. I can't even picture her. I can't picture her saying, bitch, give me why, or you next, you go ahead and do this. I can't see that at all. So region times three. Having sex with his source of income and um he had a horrible play, had a horrible shopping habit. Um and apparently Clarence always um, likes to look good. He always likes to dress. Um, which is allegedly Leslie. When Clay basically had to go ahead and start the legal operation of signing up for a sexual site. Sexual site and All of that is false. It's not true. And he was getting paid money just for pigs, like $500 to, you know, for pigs. And that he never went through his phone and saw that message. Um... Okay, I'm going to just stop right there.
Okay, part one is done. And I'm going to be completely honest. This is the most boring video I've ever seen in my life. She ain't spilled no tea. The best part was like her dropping an old picture of her and Clarence because down look like Clarence. I never expected Clarence to look like that on a throwback picture. The dude look like a whole different man. Like, he looked like legend in that picture, to be honest. I'm just like, I've never expected Clarence to ever in my life look like that. So I'm just kind of shocked. But overall, this video is boring. Like, he didn't give us no tea. He didn't give us no exclusive content. I guess unless that picture is supposed to be exclusive content. Um, she did get vulnerable with us, like, real quick. But uh, this was so freaking boring. Like, I don't know why I wasted... I don't know why I wasted like 15 minutes of my time watching this because y'all, I knew it was going to be somewhat like this. I knew it was going to be like, hey, I didn't do it. A whole bunch of, hey, look at me. Give me subscribers, building up the anticipation and delivering nothing. I knew it was going to be just like that. She really could have kept this video. This shit was weak. It told us nothing except she is having problems having kids and I feel bad that we had to find it out and know that because they don't really directly affect our lives. It affects hers. And I would have liked to like not have known that, but it do gotta suck for real, for real. A dude date for five years, a dude you thought, thought she was gonna marry, you're already having those issues, find out that you you really probably possibly can't have kids ever. And he moves on and has a kid like immediately. Cause you y'all know Queen got pregnant quick. Like it was just like, oh, it's my crush. Oh, we're dating. Boom, pregnant. I was like, whoa, that got to suck. That got to hurt. And it's good she had a healthy outlet. Because, I mean, like, if I seen that, I swear, I, look, I told y'all last video, I went ballistic. I went, I would have been like, you got this bitch pregnant? You got this whore pregnant? You know, that was his girlfriend. You got this whore pregnant so quick and she didn't care about me? I would have been so mad. I would have been so hurt. I would have been that crazy ex on the internet and she... She kept it cool. She kept it G because I would never, I don't have that, I don't have that uh, capability in my body. I don't have that capability to be calm and chill on situations like that, especially because that's five years. That's five deep years. I think that's what we're like, fresh out of high school, kind of getting to know yourself and trying to keep that high school love. Ooh, they got to hurt. They had this thing. Anyway, born ass video. I really do think at this point she did not write the book. She didn't write the book. At first it said innocent until proven guilty. I think she did not write the book. But that does not dismiss her cousins, her sisters, brothers, anybody in her family that, that does not dismiss them or her besties and all them that she said, oh, you write it and I'm going to deny it, but make it juicy and make it good because to know that she had reproductive problems and we never will even have guessed that, somebody close wrote that book or they all wrote it together like it honestly why she watching clear old videos if that was your ex three years ago why are you watching clear old videos or reaction videos now say i'll watch this part one reacting to this why you just watch the video directly why you had to watch clarence's they all wrote this book but yeah or if she didn't write this book it was him that he made it if he didn't write, if she didn't write this book, it was somebody that they knew mutually that Clarence probably said, oh, write the book, put all this tea in there, and that's going to get Leslie on the map. Because he been told her to start a YouTube. He been said, hey, you need to get this YouTube bag. Like, go ahead and start your YouTube. Like, the YouTube money good. Because Queen introduced him to that reel, said, hey, YouTube money. Hey, why don't you go for it? And then boom, blew up. Anyway, somebody wrote this book on her behalf or on their behalf because... Like I said, that's key information. And I hope part two ain't boring. Because part one, um, I really could have. I'm really better off going to sleep. It's like one o'clock in the morning where I'm at. I really, I'm really better off going to sleep. Because that was just so pointless. But anyway, I'm going to reduce this video down. I hope y'all like this video. Hey, let's get let's get to part two. Hopefully part two will wake me back up. Because I am sleepy. I am. I'm disappointed in this video just overall. Like I am. I'm disgusted. But anyway, thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel. I got more reactions coming soon. And yeah, comment down below what's your thoughts. Let's talk about this because she seemed a little innocent. So at first I thought she was like 95% like guilty. Now I think she like 
about 65% guilty. So, yeah. No, now I think she about 58% guilty. So, not as much, but still somewhat guilty in some way. Because, yeah, she done gained like 3,000 subscribers. Thank you for subscribers. Why are you thankful for them if you didn't want them or you weren't trying to be a YouTuber? Because you are secretly and we know. Anyway, thank you for watching my channel. See you on the next video.